Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! Welcome back to the Jenny McCarthy Show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg. I'm so excited. You guys know how much I love her. I talk about her all the time. I've been to her house. I love her babies. I love her man. I just love her. Nicole and uh, Nico. Yes. Let me see if I can get this right. Torta, ta, tor, wait. Ugh. Oh, God. Tortorella. Tortorella. Yeah, you were right. Tortorella. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, fuck that's yes. Good. I like tortellini. Nico tortellini. I was going to say tortellini. <laughs> but I'm sure you probably heard that a million times. I've heard it all. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole, you guys also know her as Snooki, premiering next Tuesday, I mean next Thursday on MTV. How far is Tattoo Far? This show looks amazing. Mm. Yeah. Let me plug it again. How far is Tattoo Far? And uh, go ahead and describe the show. It's a shit show, honestly. It, it really is. I expect nothing less from yeah. you, Nicole. So basically, I'm so excited to be working with Nico. We literally, we didn't even know each other. Well, he all. knew me because he stalked me on well, Jersey Shore. Stalked but, you. Yeah. I mean, the whole world stalked you, let's be honest. <laughs> but we met each other when we clicked so good, so I was like, this is going to be so much How fun. How did you guys meet each other? Uh, when we read for it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was just kind of one of those things where we just saw each other. and It was like, our souls know each other. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been like that ever since. Yeah. I get that. Mm-hmm. I get that. So then like, the show sister. came yeah. up how? Well, there is um, a show in the UK, yep. uh, uh, Just Tattoo of Us. Mm-hmm. This is the format that we are borrowing from the nice. UK version, MTV UK. And um, basically, the structure of it is, imagine you and your husband come into our studio. You have a tattoo picked out for him, he has a tattoo picked out for you, but you have no idea what you're getting tattooed. I love- Mm-hmm. And then we put blindfolds on you, and we tattoo for like four hours. Okay, this is yeah. kind of like um, the tattoo version of Trading Spaces. Yes. Remember or when like- they had <laughs> the neighbors? Yeah. They would like unveil it and be uh-huh. like, "I hate my living room." Yeah. Yes. But like, you could change your living room. You literally have a tattoo on your body forever. You yeah. got so it's very dramatic. Are they married couples or just relationships? The whole gamut. It's everything. Yeah, we have married couples, yeah. exes, exes, best friends, boyfriend, boyfriend. Okay, uh-huh. this we got is some a drag freaking. Genius. This show is going to be a hit. Yeah. We hope so. Yeah, what well, already is such a hit overseas, too. Yeah. And so, like... How are and you it's guys- funny, because the host um, on Just That Two of Us in the UK, mm-hmm. Charlotte, she was on Geordie Shore. So what the hell is that? It's the UK version of Jersey Shore. They stole Jersey yeah. Shore, so now, so now we're stealing, stealing tattoo. tattoo back. I mean, yeah. wait, wait, when Single Out was big, I loved meeting the French mm. version of Jenny McCarthy, the Isn't Japanese version of Jenny yes. McCarthy. Yes. I love it. Yeah, I love. I it love too. meeting them. What year did Single Out start? Mm, yeah, I can't even can't fucking even remember. remember yesterday. Yeah. Probably 1998. If okay. you can believe that's how okay. long it Amazing. was. Amazing. So, so these people, I would imagine, get completely pissed off. Mm. Oh, yeah. Are they all pissed off? Or some of them like, no. hey, I like it. Yeah, we're not trying to piss people off. That's mm. not like the goal of the show. You know, it, it the entire gamut of reactions exist on this show. Can you guys give mm. me an example of a couple? That, that, that we might have seen them in promos, but of a good one where they're happy and a bad one. Well, Angelina and her fiance come yeah, on the first on the first episode. episode. And That's going to be good. They get pretty gnarly. Angelina Dirty Hamster, Angelina. Yes. Dirty Hamster, yeah. Angelina, Angelina from yeah, Jersey yeah. Shore. <laughs> yeah, so she comes on with her fiance <laughs> and she was dramatic, so you're not going to be disappointed with that. Um, but yeah, we have um we have a lot of situations. There's some with families, which is really sweet. Mm-hmm. We cried. Yeah. There's a lot of crying. Yeah. I bet. I, Nicole and I are both like highly emotional people. Too. <laughs> yeah. We don't <laughs> hide know, our emotions. Empaths <laughs> through and through. So and how much um, revenge is going on? There's, There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, are, are, are they doing any like um, obscene ones, like a giant penis on their back or? You know, that's always the first one everyone goes to. It's like yes. a penis is like what everyone is most yeah. afraid of. Come is on. it? Is it true? Yeah. No, all the people yeah. that came on, they were like, don't give me a penis. Yeah. Every single one. I'd be like, don't give me Steve-O on the whole back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> that would be kind of amazing. Oh, my God. Stop. Yeah. What are your, why and w- when did you guys get your tattoos? Are they meaningful? Are they because you were drunk? Yeah. I got all mine drunk, but I still love them and you they're do. meaningful. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is one that you wish you could erase if it was just like an eraser? None. Really? I love um dedicated well, to all of them. Your tramp stamp, you're thinking about changing. Well, just the last name. Yeah. I still love it. Because yeah. it has Polizzi. So my husband's always like, you know, get Laval. Like, why you're not a Polizzi anymore? I'm like, calm down. It's mm. like faded anyway. <laughs> but like all my tattoos, I love still. I love that you have a tramp stamp. I love mm. anybody that has a tramp stamp. Amy right? Schumer has one. So I love tramp stamps. Yeah. yeah, I do too. He has a penis. I do. There is a penis in my arm. Shut up. Yeah. I have sperm. So we're perfect you together. You have sperm? 
Well, it's a half of a yin yang that oh. I got when I was okay, drunk, sperm. and it looks like a some sperm. dude in the world is floating around with the other half in the Stop same. Stop it! Oh yeah, we did it That's together. That's epic. College. That's amazing. Mine's David's penis, so it's like it's still you a know, penis. Can I see it? It's oh, it's actually it's classic. It's like a David, yeah. the statue. Oh, penis. oh my god, it's beautiful. Uh-huh. That artist did an amazing Thanks. job. I got my first tattoo when I was 15 in Chicago. I'm from Chicago, actually. Nice. Yeah, Chicago. And That's why you're cool. I have a little mm. story about you and me that I feel Uh-oh. like I have to share. Do it. Do you remember a bar in Chicago? Chicago, Harlem and Higgins named Ralph's back in the day. I don't, but that doesn't mean anything. Well, there there's a picture of, of you and my uncle. It's my family's bar. And I had this picture in my bedroom growing up. Oh. And so you were like the first That's so cute. celebrity that was like connected in, in relation to That's my family cute. ever. I thought it was gonna be in a compromising position yeah. photograph. But well, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not giving too many details here, but you know. <laughs> um all right, so I want to get back into the show to plug the hell out of this. How far is tattoo far? What would you guys do if you had an ex that you would want to do revenge on? If they came on. <sighs> oh God. It depends which one. Yeah. Pick one. They're all different. I feel like you would go dirty. Mm. Not like filthy dirty, but you would like go for some blood. I would be sweet. I would like. I don't know. I, I still no, am I in feel love like I would be like exes. funny and sarcastic, but I wouldn't be like. You wouldn't tattoo your face mean, on somebody mean. else's body. Well, ah! <laughs> actually, I would. You would. would in a second. I would. I would ta- if if we did it. I would tattoo myself on him on mm. his back. Really? Yeah. Not. A, I'm, I would be fine with you, like on my legs. Okay, your leg. Anywhere, yeah. I would put my my full portrait on him. <laughs> and well, I would do the same thing to her. Um, I'd kill you. What's her, Ariana Grande's boyfriend got a tattoo of her? Pete Davidson. It was yeah. in like three weeks of mm-hmm. dating. Really? Yeah. Yes. I feel like that's a bad omen. I, no, I, I think we all think that. I think yeah. it's a bad omen. Period. After three weeks of dating, that's I'm a, you cool know, with the, it. Live your life, girl. You don't think oh, that sounds God. to as a girl, I think it sounds like to me and let me know this, Nicole. I would think the guy is trying to control me or hold yeah. on to me. Mm-hmm. Like peeing on you, like a dog. Yeah, yeah like yeah, no, guess yeah, what? Like, this is my territory. Yeah. <laughs> and mm. I got a tattoo. I you know, you can't just break up with me that easy. I yeah. have a tattoo mm. with your name on it. Well, yeah, if she dramatic. knows about it, that's one thing. If he like went and got it on the slide, it's like getting a, a dog total... together when you're dating. You know mm. what I mean? Like, not really yeah, smart. It's like, like a child. Oh, getting a dog together. It is. Yeah. It's like a fur baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you guys do if the person's really pissed off? They can't obviously sue. So what, well, they're signing, they're, sure, they're signing their life away, but what do you do when they freak out? I mean, I always get nervous, so I hide behind this one, mm-hmm. and I'm like, take care of it, because I get nervous. We have security present oh, yeah. for we every have security single reveal. On both sides okay, of yeah. give me an example of a reaction. Oh my God! I mean, we had a few walk-offs. You had to go offs, get them. Chasing people I, I felt like the we hallways. were on Maury. Yeah. Or Jerry Springer. Yeah. We had to like go follow them in the back. Slash no. like Doctor Phil yeah. because like. Yeah, he was the, giving speeches. <laughs> I was the, like, oh my God, what's going on? The amount of trust and just like vulnerability that you have to just like bleed on the show is is insane. You you start the tattoos and you have no idea what they're getting and they're going through every single emotion possible and just like to I don't know the psychology behind the show is just so fascinating to me so are they blindfolded I mean obviously Basically the entire time yeah okay and then are they they can obviously tell how big the tattoo is going to be well that's the thing with tattoo pain like if you don't see it you don't really know how big it is because pain shoots through your body in different areas that's true you know but at least you know where it is yeah can you guys t- tell me one tattoo that's crazy like, is there an Eiffel Tower on someone's back? Like, what is... That would I be mean, pretty. There was none of that. There was nothing pretty. <laughs> like, an Eiffel I mean, Tower, like, sex position Eiffel Tower? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a lot of um, raunchy ones. Like, honestly, anything like, that you can fuck? imagine, we go for. In yeah. the in the UK version, one of the gnarliest tattoos I saw, yeah. um, some guy tattooed on his best friend, a dude on all fours, on his stomach, with his belly button as his asshole. What? It, you have, have to look like it up. <laughs> like it I is feel like we have a few of those. The gnarliest thing you've yeah. ever seen. See, that's why I think this show is going to do freaking We have amazing. a few of those. Yeah, we definitely oh, do. Oh, I love oh, it. I wish we could say. I know. So soon exciting. enough, soon enough. There yeah. have been songs that we have written about some of the tattoos. That I have written. Yo, that you're claiming relax. you did. I swear I made it up. I swear But I was also God. drinking wine, so. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny together. <laughs> I'm talking to Nico and Nicole. Their show is called How Far Is Tattoo Far? Premiering on MTV next Thursday. Day. Nico, you can't believe everything you read, obviously, on Wikipedia, but were you and your girlfriend uninvited to Thanksgiving at your wife's mom's Whoa, house? whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, kind of, sort what? of. You know, um, 
Bethany and I, we're we're super open about our relationship, which our, I love, our queerness, our polyamory, and you know, s- some things in the press get a little convoluted, and some. Do you want to clarify anything? Some journalists are better at their jobs than others, right? And Facts. um, and Wikipedia know, sucks balls, to be honest. But yeah, it was just. It was an emotional year for us and our families, and some things were said. Um, but at the end of the day, we did go to Bethany's family's house, and everything's fine, and it's unconditional love everywhere. But, you know, families, is it, is it, is, family's is it, hard. Is it private what the issue was? Or are you guys sharing it? No, no. I mean, it's not private. You know, we are, like, r- really queer and loud. So and the, so the mom and had some a- conservative. No, it, it, it wasn't Bethany's mom. It was other people in the family. And people in my family have had issues with us too but like when you're dealing with conservative religious people you know like some of the stuff that we talk about isn't totally cool all the time and then did you shift them with your positivity and love and show them that queer and gay and bi is just as wonderful as everybody else that's that's the mission that's the message in life yeah we try to but it only goes so far then i would make them feel super guilty be like you know you just ate a fucking living creature right <laughs> yeah <laughs> right uh-huh. yeah. Uh, nicole have you ever been banned from anyone's uh family dinner or anything <laughs> I mean, not my family, no. No. Because they love me. I'm like the, the life of the party. You really are the yeah. life of the party. But I've been banned from some bars before. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> That's the furthest you've gone. Yeah. Did you um go to Mike's engagement party? Um, He didn't really have an engagement party, but um, he's actually planning the wedding now, and we're super excited. Both of our girls, um, Giovanna and Jenny's daughter, Milani, is going to be the flower girls. Aww. He just asked us, so you're going to see it on the show, um, and we're super excited. The That's wedding so soon, right? Yeah, it's soon. Yeah. And, and um, I can't remember. I should probably be asking this off air. Is he going away? Um, <laughs> his court date is Friday, <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, so is he trying to get married before finding out anything? Or um, is he safe and just has to pay? I mean, honestly, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We're all, like, freaking out for him. Mm. So hopefully... You know, everything's going to be fine. Thank God you guys are in his life right now. Yeah. I feel like mm-hmm. when you're going, when shit hits the fan, oh, yeah. you need your friends around you. You need your best friends, yeah. Has mm-hmm. he has he leaned on you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been hanging out all week, and you could tell, you know, the days are coming quicker, and he's he's getting more nervous, and, you know, we're just trying to be there for him and, you know, just hang out with him, make him smile a little bit, mm-hmm. but it's it's terrifying for him. How's his fiance? She's she's doing actually really well. Um, we just went for her dress fitting, so you know she's putting on the dress and doing all the fun bride stuff. But she's freaking out too. I so. bet. I think we just all want it to be over, but we're also hoping for a great outcome. Exactly, and yeah. lessons learned and moving on. Exactly. Speaking of lessons learned, what about what's going on with Ronnie? How's he doing? He's good now. I mean, <laughs> that's what's so crazy about this. <laughs> Ronnie's like, you never know what's going to happen with Ron. So we're all like, Ron, are you good today? He's like, yeah, I'm good. We're seeing like, pictures right. of them on vacation, like looking like happy family. Listen, as long as they're both happy and the baby's good, that's all we care about. Right. I mean, obviously, couples are going to fight. They're just mo- more vocal and public about it are than they, I would like to be. But Are they both crazy? Or is one yes, a little they're crazy? both absolutely crazy. But that's why we love them. Mm-hmm. Is that why they're a perfect match? I mean, is that a perfect match? I don't know. Preach. Preach. I, I mean, I don't know. I, you know, you tr- tend to track your mirror, so mm. maybe that's what I mean, he's doing. They have a beautiful baby, and that's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> and did you guys see um, Polly on Marriage Boot Camp? I did not. Know. It's so hard to watch. Really? Isn't it? It's so hard to watch. Is it because you know Polly? Yeah. And it's just like I've never seen him that unhappy in my life. Oh. How long was he with that slut? <laughs> um. <laughs> I feel like it was, you know, like five, six months. That's it a was long a, time for it, him. It was a long time. And, and Aubrey, yeah. did you ever meet her? I met her before, like a couple years ago. Not a good match. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Did you call him ever and be like, what are you thinking? Well, no, because he seemed happy at the time when they were together. They would like post pictures. They just seemed like the perfect couple, but obviously not. What is their, what was the reason you think that they split? Well, from just watching the show... She didn't come off like she was all there, I feel. <laughs> I don't know. She just she didn't seem like the right fit for Polly. Polly's like outgoing, um, great energy, and she's just, I feel like she has baggage. You know, who doesn't have baggage? But I feel like that ruined it. I don't know. Were you surprised that he did the show? Yeah. I'm like, why would you do a show like that? I don't even know what the show is. The marriage like, boot camp? It's no like, a, oh, it's, it's couples, so dramatic. Couples that get together and they, they stay They asked me and to do it. And I was like, hell no. Are you, you crazy? You bring up a bunch of the, like, the hell and garbage you're going through and uh, try to fix it on air. Just the two of you in the house? It's no, like, there's other couples too. Oh, stop. Yes. It's legit therapy in front of everyone. Mm. 
that's kind of what this show is. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that actually real. it's definitely it fucked is. Up. I try yeah. to get people yeah. together, uh-huh. mm-hmm. but I I thought the same thing. I'm like, Polly can do way better. I don't. Do you think he doesn't need the money? He's do, he's done well. No, yeah, I think he he just wanted to try the relationship thing, and that just wasn't working for him with her. So now he's just back to Polly DJing, hooking up. You know, being Polly, he'll he'll be the last one to get married. Probably, mm. but he um, wants to. He does. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure you love the show, Angelina. Back, you bringing her on. I feel like that might have been a producer poll. <laughs> I feel like it was both. Okay, yeah. honestly, it was both because when we came back, I was like, "All right, Sam's down. It's four girl or three girls, four boys. I feel like this is the time to bring Angelina back. You know, we're all so close and love each other. We kind of need that like villain." Yeah, but then she came in and she wasn't really that. Well, she was for a little bit, but now you know I think she's a great girl. I do too. Like yeah. I think she's sweet. I think but, she's great entertainment. But so. I think it was smart because I went. Uh, Nicole's smart. She knows that they needed someone to pick on, and so let's bring her in. But then you wind up you know liking her. Yeah. yeah. After all, the dirty hands yeah. are not so dirty. But then after all. you know we we all pick on each other, and the fact that we could pick on her and she was fine with it, I, I was know. like, all right, like you know we're not trying to make people cry, but like we're all tough personalities. You got to be able to hang with us. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I know. Now, uh, Nico, you just released a book of poetry? I did. All of it is you. Wow. Aww. It's amazing. Oh, thanks. He actually reads your soul from it. Oh. It's like trippy. Like like he um, goes so deep that you feel it, is what you're saying? Well, or how do you do explain these, like, it? These tarot-esque readings with the book. It's where so Where you'll ask cool. a what? question and pick a number. Yeah. And he's reading your life and your emotions. Can you come back and do that for me on air? Uh, anytime you want. Yeah. I, I would love that. I need that. Of course. You have to bring your triangle. Yes, all all the triangles for everyone. <laughs> what what tattoos should Donnie and I get? Hmm, tattoos of Ew. us. Just me and Snooks. I think <laughs> something sexy. I have love Donnie on my fingers, Aww. and then I realized with writing words on your fingers, not a good idea. No, they fade pretty fast. Writing, oh, really? Writing yeah. words, period. I think mm-hmm. it looks a little prisony. Well, I got I got lots of words. Um, hey, anything on your face? Did anyone do that on the show? No, we have oh, not we have not had any face tattoos Mm-mm. yet. I'm thinking about getting a little face tattoo. Don't what? do it. Right here. But don't. in but white ink. White ink. No. No, your face is so pretty. Yeah, you don't so want to do that. You're so handsome. It's no, true. Don't. You can't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, any, no places on like the penis or any like pubic areas? Oh, no. There were no, some there down below. There have definitely what? been some yes. very- Yes. Oh my God, that- ridiculous yeah. tattoos in some questionable areas. Okay, so uh-huh. they're they're making the other person get that in that location? Yeah, it's not like we're like tattooing dickheads out here, but like it gets real close to a lot of oh, yeah. a lot of things. Well, it's yeah. just kind of it's just kind of weird to me that the like let's say an ax would be like, "Okay, go ahead and tap my pube area." Uh. Like you must do you think people are like love fame that much or want to be on TV that much that they're willing to do anything? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And some of them said it. They're but like, oh, we just want to be on MTV. They're like Let's young, fuck each other up. young people that are coming on the show. Tattoos are really big. I mean, we have all these like young rappers out in the world that are covered totally. in face tattoos. I cannot. So right? tattoo culture is is something totally different today than it was even two, three years ago. It is. It's mm. not taboo yeah. like it used to be. But I do think the face is kind of... It's a lot. I had to talk my sister, JoJo, out of getting in Vegas one drunk time Um pimp on her neck shut, shut up, up. I swear on my life what's wrong with her we were wasted and i thought it was a good on idea too <laughs> and so we went to the shop and i just I, I had some moment of clarity and was like don't do it my sister can't get pimp on her neck and we're not talking about like little huge oh my gang, god like pimp Thank on her neck god Although, think about it, it would be fucking hilarious right now. Like, it would be pretty badass. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't Can you imagine, imagine trying to get a job. Yo. <laughs> I'm a pimp. And, like, tattoo Total removal next. is not easy at all. I People heard it's think worse. it's like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go painful. get it. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes, like, months and months and months. Wait, before we go, quickly, and we only have, like, 30 seconds, you fought back about your daughter's hair on social media. How yeah, annoying are did. fucking assholes? <laughs> Hey, it's sorry to brush my daughter's yo. hair. <laughs> so give me exactly how you feel, Nicole. Fuck off. <laughs> my daughter, as long as she's loved and she, you know, I'm a great mom and she's she's loving this life. Who cares if she's wearing, you know, a stupid dress and her hair's not brushed? Who it, cares? It's annoying when people. She's, a, she's four years old. Like, relax. I, right? Are you going to try to keep her away from social media as much as possible? No, she has her own Instagram. I yeah. love her. <laughs> she's killing it. She almost has 200,000 followers. <laughs> How do you teach her about trolls? 
Um, well, she's four, bitch. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, smile, say hi to everyone. She's like, hey. She loves it now. <laughs> you better, but that's that's a scary thing. You better train her. I'll tell you what I did for Evan. It might help. Oh, my but God, yes. You for, for defending her. You guys are mm-hmm. awesome. This show, I'm calling, is going to be huge. How far is Tattoo Far? Yes. Very next Thursday on MTV. Nico, Nicole, thank you guys so much. Bam. Love you. Thanks, Love you, too. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh!